Hi, my name's Catherine Hassel and I've just recently completed my PhD at RMIT University on the effects of environmental stresses on black brim. Ecology is the study of the effects of toxicants, contaminants and pollutants on organisms in the environment. It might be aquatic organisms or terrestrial organisms or even plants. So why is it so important that we study ecotoxicology? Well, as, as our populations increase, our water resources become uh, more limited. Australia at the moment is in the groups of a major drought, so water resources are, are extremely stretched. It's really important that we understand what's going to happen to the organisms within the environment. So what kind of toxicants are in the environment? There's a whole range of different toxicants. Different types of environments have different types of toxicants. Here we're at a university totally surrounded by urban development. It's considered an urban area. So biomonitoring is where we use something in the environment, a biological indicator, to assess what's going on, what types of pollution are present. Bioindicator species can be any range of things. Um, biomonitoring has various different forms, but a common way that it's conducted is that we choose a species and catch it from different areas and look at changes in its physiology um, as a result of exposure to toxicants. Different types of species are more sensitive than others, so if the environment is heavily polluted, we might find that some species are no longer present. Other ecotoxicologists might carry out risk assessments to look at the potential effects of developing new areas. Um, or they might be doing remediation work where they take a contaminated site and somehow remediate it so that it can be useful in the future for different purposes. So here's one of the samples from the pond. It's just a mixed water sample. What we can see that's in there, there's some mosquito fish, Gambusia, Holbrooki. And there's a few other small um, macroinvertebrates and things in the sample as well. During the ecotoxicology course, you get trained in various techniques, from standard laboratory-based testing such as acute and chronic toxicity tests, to enzyme assays, as well as uh, things like mutagen testing and microbial techniques. We'll also get you out in the field doing some biomonitoring work, 